Well, hello there, friends. Check it out. It's my garlic bread. You've been asking for the recipe. Here it is. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. Stay tuned. We're going to make it right now. Well, hello there, friends. That's going to be a quick one today. I'm going to make you my favorite garlic bread. Really simple to make, okay? We got bread and we got butter and garlic. <laughs> you know that's going to be good, right? So um, I got a, a butter that is uh, softened. I put it in, uh, in, a, in, a, in in the oven for a minute. <laughs> for a minute. You want it to be really soft, friends. Otherwise, you're going to have a heck of a time to uh, to do what I'm about to do, okay? So... If, uh, if you don't have a, uh, I always have some kind of an oven going in my kitchen, but if you don't, just put it in the microwave for like a 15 seconds. Don't, don't put it too much, otherwise it'll, it'll completely separate on you, and you, you don't want to do that. You just want to soften it, you see? All right, so we got uh, uh, chopped basil and, uh, and chopped parsley. I mean, this is really like a, a no-brainer, eh? And, uh, and chopped parsley, okay, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Let's look at it to see if we have enough. You see, I don't measure because I like to look at it. And then, uh, but I, I write recipe for you guys. So we can, uh, but this is like, a, I don't know. I, I didn't really measure it. So look, a little bit of uh, black pepper, a little bit of salt, unless you're using a, a, a salted butter, which, you know, I never do because I don't like a salted butter. And then we're gonna put our garlic, and this is uh, freshly chopped garlic. Put as much or as little as you want. There's no uh, recipe for this, friends, okay? This is something like, uh, the technique is, mama mia, look at this mess I made. This, uh, the technique is, is more than, the, than reading the recipe. You put as much as you want. You see the fact that the butter is soft, make it easy, right? So look at this bread, I can't believe it. I got a piece of bread. It, 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 that's the way they, it came. <laughs> Why we're we waiting? All right, so look, guys, we're gonna cut it in half anyway because otherwise it's too big, right? We're gonna cut. You cut your bread like this, right? And then you make big, uh, big uh, uh, opening in your bread. Don't cut it all the way through because if you cut it all the way through, you're gonna have. A, you're not gonna have a, a, a piece of size you want. You can cut it all the way through later. See, you give it a good three quarter, right? And then you open it up. And you put your, your butter in there, see? And don't worry about it. You, you don't have to be very precise, eh, friends? It's more about the technique, eh? See? It's more about the technique. Just uh, put it in there. As much or as little as you want, okay, friends? Right there. You see? I want it to be a quick video today, so I'm, uh, I'm doing it quick. See? Right there, right? Get in there, you. You can put it a bit on top, but don't worry about putting it on top. It's not really important. I'll do the other piece later. We'll take a aluminum paper. Let's move this aside. We can do the other one later. We take the piece of aluminum. And don't let anybody tell you the dull side and the, the this is a manufacturing deal, okay? First, I don't like to lose aluminum paper. I don't like to cook in aluminum paper. But in this instance, it's the best thing to do. But don't let anybody tell you then the, the shiny side and the dull side. That one has to be up, one has to be down. That's not true. It's a manufacturing process. It's when they roll the aluminum paper, it's on, on the side of the roller, it's more shiny. That's all it is. Just go on the Renault.com and they'll tell you about it. So no, don't let people tell you, oh, you got to put it up or down. Okay, look. You do this, boom, boom. Pop it in a 375 degree oven uh, for about 15 minutes, okay? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put it in my oven, my oven is hot, and I come back in five minutes, I, 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 after it stayed in there five minutes, we're gonna open it up, we're gonna put a little more butter, a little more Parmigiano-Reggiano, and we'll have it ready to go. So we'll be back in a few minutes. All right, friends. I've been told by my producer that I was not very clear on my timing. We go in in the oven 15 minutes, then we're gonna take it out, and then we're gonna put it on a cookie sheet, and we're gonna go back five more minutes. Just in case I was not very clear. Okay, here we go, friends. We got the, uh, the, uh, the, the first 15 minutes 
I don't think it'll be that hot. I mean, it is hot, but uh, it's manageable. When you've been in the kitchen 50 years, you can manage heat in a different fashion, friends. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's probably gonna be very hot. I think we can handle it. Yeah, oh yeah, oh, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? And then we're gonna we're gonna make it even more special, friends. Oh look at this one, doesn't have that much. I didn't put that much on the top, you see. Oh that one, that's the second one I did. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, friends, we're gonna get more of the butter, we probably can brush it on. Oh yeah, see look, we can brush it on. And uh, we can do it on the side as well, what do you think, right? All right, now we have plenty on the inside, but you can certainly put more on the inside if you wanted to, you know, but there's plenty, you know, if we look at the inside, look at this, see, there's plenty in there, but we can put a little more. We can never have too much, hey you, we can never have too much butter, right? And uh, and then we're gonna take a little bit of Parmesan or Vagina. That's just the way I like to do it, but you don't have to do the Parmesan. That's why we, we didn't do the Parmesan at the beginning because we'll have uh, they get, they get all soggy right now. So we'll put this in there and we're gonna go in there. Five minutes. There we go. We'll be back in five minutes. All right, friends, five minutes, six minutes, seven minutes, whatever it takes to, to get it really hot. And you know what I like to do at the last minute? I still like to brush a little bit of butter on it to make it nice and shiny, you see, to give it a beautiful uh, restaurant look. This when you go to a restaurant, a good restaurant, and they got garlic bread, that's what, that's what it looks like, It you see? And look, all right? Now, let me tell you something, friends. This. Here's a garlic bread, okay? And it's so simple to make, right? Like, look, look, look at the inside. Look, look at this, look at this, friends. I hope the camera can capture this. Look at this. Look at this, friends. You get a slice of garlic bread right here. And you see, the important thing is when you do slice it, slice it almost, almost to the end, not too much, otherwise it'll fall apart on you, but give it a good 75% of the way, so then, then you can really yank it out. And you got yourself a slice of bread, you see? Ha, oh, it's gonna be hot. So I would highly recommend you weigh it. Oh, mmm. I can't wait. It's crunchy, it's garlicky, but not too much. A little cheese on top, it gives it a very exciting. I hope you make it, friends. Really simple recipe. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to ring the bell and subscribe to the channel, friends. We'll see you next couple of days with another fantastic video. Thanks for watching.